We will bring the ladies to the front and ask them that special question, why they think they should win Miss West Africa 2009. So, Sophia, that's what we're going to do right now. Let me bring that lady, we're going to start from the right. Can you please walk with me, madam? Give her a round of applause, guys. Hi, Pfizer. Why do you think you should be Miss West Africa 2009? Good evening ladies and gentlemen again. I think that I should be Miss West Africa because there's so many things that I'm passionate about. I'm very proud to be a West African and I think that I can represent not just my country Nigeria but all of West Africa. We're a beautiful group of nations and I think that the time has come where we should look inwardly for support and to better ourselves and further ourselves instead of looking outside of West Africa. As a group of people, we've endured many ad uh, adversities, famine, war, poverty, corruption of our government, and yet we're still some of the happiest people in the world. When I visit West Africa, I'm so proud to be a West African. Even though I've traveled and I live in England most of the time, I'll always find West Africa to be my home. And I, I am so passionate about so many things. I want to tackle education, especially for young girls. I want everybody to have the same opportunities that I've been able to have. And the healthcare situation, as someone who's studying to be a doctor, is really shocking to me when I go home and I see so many people who, you know, are desperate for the, even the most simple things, you know, tablets that can treat malaria, which are so cheap. And if I were to win, I would raise awareness of all these things. Thank you, Pfizer. Thank you very much, Pfizer. Now, Sophia, next up for you, I have Grace. Put your hands together for Grace. Hi, Grace. Could you tell us why you should be Miss West Africa 2009? Well, firstly, I believe that we as West African nations, we have so much to offer in terms of beauty and and, uh, and other uh, magnificent qualities to give the world. However, our plights and shortcomings are still prevalent today. I feel that as Miss West Africa, I will be able to tackle many of these things. It's only through small change can we be able to make huge impacts. My passion lies with Stepping Stone Nigeria, which is a charity organization that was set up in 2003 to help our children. Our, our children who are downtrodden and who are, at dis, who are disadvantaged. If we don't focus on our children, how can we expect prosperity? They are, our, they are the lights for tomorrow, for, for our future. Furthermore, I feel that I can be a role model for our West African women. We need to hold our heads up high to, to continue believing that we're women of excellence and we have so much to offer. And lastly, I truly believe in the quote, to whom much is given, much is required. If, West, if Miss West Africa cannot put herself in a position where she's talking to distinguished diplomats, diplomats, her peers and the youth, then how is she supposed to, to expect change? Miss West Africa needs to have attributes such as confidence and attributes that, that allow her to communicate well with people of this status in order to see prosperity and a united West Africa. Thank you. Thank you very much, Grace. Thank you, Grace. Next up, we have Aminat. Please, guys, give Aminat a big round of applause. Hi, Aminat. Could you tell us why you should be Miss West Africa 2009. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, my name is Amina Salami and I'd love to be Miss West Africa because I believe I can do it, that's why I'm here. <laughs> and also, um, I think I believe I can make a change in the world that we live in. Um, my goals are to, uh, um, to help Africa and to help the children. Um, I believe I can do it. in Africa are um, with children and education. I believe that there are a lot of children in Africa that want to come forward and um, 
do a lot for their society, but there's no one to help. I believe if I'm Miss West Africa, uh, I can work with people in higher places and persuade them to help children in need. I believe but if they come, if they... Um, Guys, as you can imagine, it is an emotional night. The guys have been working very hard. So I think she deserves a big, massive round of applause for her very brief. Massive round of applause for Eminat. Well done, darling. Thank you, Eminat. Now, next up, we have Arlette. Put your hands together for Arlette. Hi, Arlette. Could you tell us why? You should be Miss West Africa 2009. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I want to be Miss West Africa because I'm not only proud to be from Benin, but from West Africa as a whole. And I don't believe that only one country can support themselves on their own. We are the community that needs to help each other. I feel that with the title, I can make a difference. As a young person, I feel a lot of the time our voice is ignored and I've wanted to always help West Africa. I've always wanted to do stuff, but I'm ignored because I'm quite young. But with this title, I know that I can make a difference. I don't only want to raise awareness. I want to do hands-on work and I want to be there for West Africa. I want to show to the Western world, especially, that we're not just poverty stricken and that we're more than that and we're a beautiful country and I'm passionate about where I'm from. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Arlette. Thank you. Next up is Aliva. Put your hand together for Aliva. Hi, Aliva. Could you tell us why you should be Miss West Africa 2009? Hi, firstly I'd like to be Miss West Africa 2009 because I'd like to make everyone that knows me proud. Also, I think it's quite important to um, be able to make an influence so that people understand that in Africa there is poverty. Um, um, issue of poverty is stressed on enough and I feel as though if I was able to be given this title I'd be able to influence people to understand that it's still around to raise awareness and so yeah we can just stop it in Africa really. Thank you. Thank you so much Alifa. Thank you Alifa. Now we have our next is uh, Celia. Hi Celia. Could you tell us why you should be Miss West Africa 2009? I think I should be Miss West Africa 2009 because um, I think I have got something that can change people's mind and help uh, the West Africa. Uh, um, so I would like um, to be Miss West Africa because I think I can change West Africa by Talking with people with money, uh, help uh, the poverty, charities in Africa, and uh, doing, <laughs> doing. And I think, I think as well that uh, in our education in West Africa can change, and we. People with money can provide training and 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 can help uh, doctors to to give the people better health. 